half of that corn is ready to harvest. So, looks like that's what we're gonna be doing today, this morning anyway. I'm gonna have to go get it. Stay tuned. <laughs> getting ready to do we're gonna break some corn I don't I'm not getting all of it today I figure about 400 ears total in these two rows two ears per stalk we have about 200 stalks just gonna show you what I got here okay guys I'm in the middle of the corn I'll show you the difference between corn ready and corn not ready this big fat ear and the tassel is brown, dark brown. Uh, that one's ready when it's dark brown. You take it, take your knife. This is a nice ear corn here and it's prime. You see that full kernels rounded on the ends full of juice boom that's ready you see how that's still green and brown that's not ready plus the ears not big enough but the tassel is a telltale sign it's still got mixed colors on it corn's ready when all of this tassel gets dark brown it's, it's ready to go now if you don't get it then each day that starts going by and it's still hot June weather even July, whatever you're getting it, uh, it's drying it out each day. And you can get corn for, I don't know, for about a week, but anything beyond that, you're gonna start eating corn that's uh, losing some of the juice. It's still good. You can still eat it, but it won't be prime. So that's the difference. We're not harvesting the majority of this today. I'm just getting the ones that are really ready to go because the next three days, we're gonna be tied up doing other things. And three days is important. If I would have left this corn that I'm getting for three or four more days, we could have still harvested it and eaten it, but it wouldn't be prime. That's the point. See you inside. We got some corn in the biling pot. Don't you look at that over there on the side. We got a kitchen reveal coming. It's not quite ready. But this is the gas cooktop. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. All right, blanch that corn for three minutes. Blanch means bring it to a bowl, three minutes, then take it out, let it cool off, and then we'll show you what we do with it. All right, after three minutes, take them out, put them in a straining basket, take them over to the island, and lay them out, let them cool off. We'll have this island full of corn. I'm gonna show you how we cream corn. You don't take it off the cob. See how she's just nipping the tips of the kernels? Go down real deep one time, Janet. I'm going to show you what not to do. You do not, you do not go down deep to the uh, cob. You just nip the tips. Of the and you take it, lay it down on the end, and you start scraping it. You scrape it with this here fish scaler. See how it's scraping it all the way and, and, and as you keep doing this you'll start getting uh, the cream. You'll have all the, the good goodness of that corn that's left on this cob and the cream will start forming. You'll have a bowl full of cream, you know, the juice. And that's how you do it. And then you just have rough cob left but it's not that rough cob is not in the corn. And this is how you do cream corn. And then the recipe is the other secret. And that's what's left. All right, I got one more here with this group of ears. 
ears of corn that we've already uh, scraped, cut the tips off and scraped. This is the last of it. And you want to keep the, the, uh, the part that you scrape off with the cream, you want to keep that with the tips. And this part are the tips that have been cut off the cob. So now I'm going to put this part together. The juice or the cream we call it with the tips. You want to keep that together and stir it up. If you're doing a lot, like four or five bushels, you can get, get it separated and you won't have enough cream to go with, you know, if you got several people working, you need to kind of keep that in mind. Keep the, the cream that comes out of a, you know, several buckets of corn or one bucket. Keep it together and then Mix it up, and you got the, that'll be ready to. Uh, if somebody's bagging, they can go ahead and bag this up. That's ready to go. And that right there is your cream corn that'll go in the freezer in pint bags. Always put up in pints. You can always get out another pint, but sometimes if you do in quarts, you'll end up wasting food sometime when you. You eat a helping of it and you don't go back to it and you know it can be a little more wasteful that way so do pint bags freezer bag all right here's how it's done it comes out of the blank spot for three minutes and it's good enough to eat right then take your butter real butter and just grease that old thing down good I'm talking about grease it down till you can't hardly hold it take your salt I'm going to hold it over here, salt it down real good. Now, here is the taste test right here. It don't get no better. Mmm. More. Going in for more, boys. That's the best. <laughs> That's worth it all right there. <laughs> this and the cream corn that we're about to make is the best. That's a two-part thing. This will freeze a little bit. You know, you have to eat it pretty quick, like within, I don't know, two or three months, or it'll get freezer burned on you. Now, I haven't tried vacuum sealing yet. I know they sell it at the grocery store, but it ain't as good as this. But the other part is the cream corn, and I'll show you that how we do that in just a minute. I'm gonna go back to eating. We're to the bagging part. This is what we ended up with. Two, one full pot and a half of another pot, stock pot. So, uh, and you can see the, the cream, the juice down in there. That is cream corn. So we're putting it up in pint bags. Squeeze all the air out. Flatten it out so you can stack it well in the freezer. Yes. Grow any corn, go to the farmer's market and get you a couple bushels of corn and this is the way you put it there up. There you go. Cream corn in the bag, ready to go in the freezer. We're going to get, I don't know, 12, 14 bags here. I think we ended up with, uh, what did we say, three bushels? Yeah, Probably. about three bushels yeah. on the first time around. That's about a third of what's out there. So we're going to have plenty of corn. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video of how you break corn, chuck corn, and take it off the cob and cream it, and now put it in the freezer waiting for the next good video with cream corn as a side. Until next time, Phil and Florence. And Janet and Florence. That's right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. And there it is. We got 13 full pints to the brim of sweet corn, creamed corn.